Thank you very much. Thank you all for being here today. I want to start by thanking everybody that made the trip to come down here and to listen to us, to listen to what the Haitian government has, the strategy that we have in relations with the NGOs working in Haiti. We are thankful for hosting this meeting at the UN. The UN is, is playing a very important and key role in Haiti, has come after the earthquake, has helped us, has been victim also, and lost several men and women during that earthquake. So we want to publicly thank the UN for hosting this today and thank all the NGOs for making the effort to come down here to work with the Haitian people, to, to bring strategies and effort into Haiti, and uh, we're very grateful for that. We are so grateful that we feel that we have to do it the right way and we have to do it in a sustainable way that helps the Haitian people on the long run. We felt that before the rules were not clearly defined. A lot of times you had problems with petty things such as customs. You had your materials staying in customs for too long. We want to provide a new framework of working and, a clear, and clear guidelines as to what's expected of, of the NGOs, what's expected of the Haitian government, and working together in a co-responsibility on bringing development to the people. And in the name of the President of the Republic that just spoke, we want to have a more efficient cooperation, better distributed, better managed, and the identification of the people involved also should be, should be you know, done better, keeping a database of the beneficiaries also for sustainable services and assistance to them is also key. We want more tangible results that on the long run will help guide Haiti outside of the extreme poverty where Haiti finds itself right now. We need to have the support of the NGOs the only thing that we're asking is that that support is channeled to, through the Haitian government to meet the Haitian government priorities. With that, you will have not only helped Haiti, but you will have helped Haiti in a way that's consistent with the priorities of the Haitian people and in a distributed manner to make sure that everybody benefits from, from your presence. So we are, we are committed. We are committed, the, the administration, my, my government is committed to, to making a change for the better. We are committed to, to accompanying you and assisting you in, in making your work more, more efficient. We've developed a new mechanism, a, 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 new, a new mechanism by which um, the NGOs will be identified and also once identified and, and, and working from within the database, the needs and of these NGOs will be receiving the utmost attention and assistance from the government in order to accompany you and in order to work with you on, on the territories and the geographical areas where you're working to make sure that the systems are not du duplicated and that, that the assistance that you're bringing is what we need in the areas um, of greatest need. Uh, as you know, the government of Haiti has taken you know, the leadership on all development matters and want and need and want also the assistance, the support of NGOs throughout the world to work with us. We don't want, however, to be known as an NGO nation. We want to be known as a nation that is struggling and fighting to get out of an extreme situation with the assistance and help of the NGOs within the framework provided by the government. It, it will be good for us, the government, it will be good for the NGOs, and ultimately, and what counts the most, it will be good for the Haitian people, those that need it the most. The government has done a lot in the, in the past few months. This government, President Martelly has been in office for a little bit over a year, and I've been in office a little bit over three months. In, you know, since, uh, since I've been 
in, uh, as head of government. We have enabled several social assistance program, part of a global um, social protection program, one to help those that are needing the help the most, women, women living in extreme poverty. 54% of the Haitian population is living in extreme poverty today. We are determined to fight it. We are determined to finish with the social exclusion that has characterized Haiti for the better part of its history. We want to work together. We have worked together in a, in a format that works. The, the program called 16-6 that took the people living the victims of the, uh, the devastating earthquake, people that were living in shelters, in homeless shelters, under tents, we have managed to relocate out of 1.5 million. Right now, we relocated over 1.1 million. So we have a lot more to do because 400,000 is still a lot. We have a lot to do. And we want to work together with you in order to make it happen so that everybody is removed from, from under the, the, the conditions in the tents that are unacceptable, not only for Haiti, but for the rest of the world. We have also um, different social protection programs that we're putting together to help moms, to help also boost the agricultural production from within Haiti. And this agricultural production, the government will guarantee to, to poor farmers at least 40% of their production in order to take that production and bring it to the famine areas, the hardest hit areas, and the poorer areas in order to feed some of our people that, that are in the greatest needs right now. So the country is doing better. There is a lot more to do. This government is working almost 20 hours, 24 hours a day, but actually 20 <laughs> per minister. <laughs> so we, we are committed to working with you, and, um, and, we, and this, is, this explains our, our presence here in this meeting today. We want to hear from you, we want to exchange with you, and we, wanna, we want your input to make Haiti a better place. Thank you.